Hey everyone. Hey. Hey. That's you want weird. a food fight? Disney versus like, but you should put Universal. The, animate Disney and Universal on this, and then it's like. Have you even seen the video I did? I did Woody Woodpecker and Mickey Mouse in a boxing ring. Oh, I made no, that. Watch it. I made that. So what are we doing in today's Universal versus Disney food fight? An obscure appetizer. It's very devilish. They're deviled eggs. <laughs> I love deviled eggs. Anywhere I see deviled eggs on the menu, I have to get deviled eggs. And fortunately for us, there are two restaurants that we know of that have deviled eggs. The first from NBC Sports Grill and Brew, and then the second place is Art Smith's Homecoming. Real talk. Has everybody had a cholesterol test today? Steve, are you even a deviled eggs fan? Uh, no. I, I don't even remember. What's on deviled eggs? I don't remember. Are so, you for real? I'm for real. I love deviled eggs. We just got our deviled eggs at the table. As the resident expert on deviled eggs, I can tell you that these ones cost $7.95 for six deviled eggs. Um, they all have a chipotle powder kind of on top of them. A little chipotle seasoning. It was paprika. And then some have little peppers on top, others have capers. Mm. I'm so happy. That good? The hard boiled egg portion is very hard boiled. Um, the yolk portion is fluffy like a cloud. Um, I, I don't, I mean, I'm sure they put in the, the mayo and the yolk and they whip it all together, but it is so light and airy. These are really good. They're like dessert. It's really soft and fluffy, like Craig said. Um, it has, uh, it's very creamy. I don't like the word creamy. Oh, taste it and tell me it's not creamy. Ugh. Why are you eating it like that? You're making me feel uncomfortable. I think deviled eggs should always be eaten slowly. Um, good, good consistency, good flavor. I wish it was a little spicier. I feel like I'm a little let down by the chipotle seasoning on the top. I thought it was going to be a little more. It was paprika. I appreciate it though because if they put too much seasoning on, it could have the potential to just go from spicy to too salty. And it never borders on that. It just stays thorough. Do you remember where we parked now? 303, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Great. We're screwed. I think it's... Uh, ah! I fell! Well, we've eaten some deviled eggs. While still good, they did change up the recipe a little bit. Chipotle is out. There is still like a, a dusting of paprika on top, but there was salt, pepper, mayonnaise, mustard, and then the egg yolk all mixed up. It wasn't life changing. It was not like the deviled eggs to end all deviled eggs. I, I will still say though, for $7.95 to get technically three full deviled eggs, I mean, they're half, so you six get six shells. halves. Yeah, six um, but for that many, that's still a great price. Next up, we have Art Smith's Homecoming with their deviled eggs. We're coming for you. These look better than the other ones. These are big. Do they get points for bacon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Extra points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, based on appearance alone, these are absolutely impressive. They're they massive. Are, they are oozing out of the top. Yeah. Is that and a full egg for each one? Yeah, I feel like somewhere they're throwing away egg whites, saying that's just a little bit too healthy. The egg yolk part of it is like oozing over the side, where it's a little bit more contained. Yeah. At uh, NBC Barn Grill. Yeah, same same style, probably like piped into it. Um, but this, you got a lot more green onion in there, bacon on top. Oh, this is. Eat it. I, I'm ready. Yeah. You go first. Eat no, it. you go first. You, you, you go first. All right. You go first. That's the novice. These are excellent. Excellent. These are excellent. I hate all the choices you make about the person you are. They're just as creamy as NBC Barn Grills were, but these have the green onions and the bacon. I, I don't know. I think these are going to be tough to beat, but I'll see what these guys think. Oh, gosh. It's hard, they're so big. I don't want to like touch every single one of them. They're extravagant. 
Yeah. Oh god, I hate both of you. They're worth the extra money. That came off in my ham. All right, the crispy bacon, it's pretty on point. What's the price difference on these? These are 11 versus 7.95. Ooh, a $3 price difference, but the taste, the taste. These are really good. These are really good. Can't egg beat it. We are done with homecoming. We are done with NBC Sports Grill and Brew. Yep. This was two competitors, uh, both very qualified, um, but hands down the winner. If we have to pick a winner, would go to homecoming. Both are great. This is just absolutely phenomenal, though. Like, I'd these... like to say we're picking very unique things and seeing who presents them in a more unique manner. Yeah, this exceeded expectation. They're both worth your money. Yeah. Uh, however, the the ones at home coming, a couple dollars more. Three dollars more. Uh, I'm going to agree with Craig. I think they edge out the other ones because this is not a video about value. This is a video about the product. And the product here is that the the deviled eggs at Homecoming have more of a unique flavor than the ones at this NBC. flat out took me by surprise because I've had these ones before, I've had NBC's before. NBC's in the past were better. They've changed their recipe for the worse, I will say. Not, they're still not bad. It, they used to be on par with this. When you take a bite of one of these deviled eggs, it, your whole mouth is filled. It was in my mustache. That is our favorite pick. It seems like it's a unanimous decision. Homecoming. Home, homecoming. And, um, but we want to know where you like your deviled eggs. I know this is a really bizarre, unique thing to ask where you think the best things are. If, if this is not one of your favorite things to get, what is one of your favorite things to get that we could compare and contrast to another thing? Let us know in the comments below because we want to know where we need to go next.